and excuse the wind. I'm talking about this wind. Today's review is Robin by Bruno Acampara. I've got the oil. It's a five mil pot of oil with a cork lid. Here is the bottle that it comes in. So it comes originally with a wax seal and some string that you have to break to get into it and you simply take the cork top off and you can just sort of get the cork wet and then dab the cork onto your skin. This is the box. hence I had to bring a jacket got my legs out though trying to catch some rays so Robin has lots of notes I won't remember them all the main ones that I pick up on I instantly get iris it's iris tune rose there's a little bit of coconut Jasmine, musk, aldehydes, I can't remember the rest, I'll pop them on the screen and when I first apply it to my skin and this is a fragrance that you anoint to your skin so I put it on the cork and then rub it onto my pulse points It kind of feels like, initially, it feels like a really rich iris butter. It's got a little bit of powderiness to it, but it's also very creamy. Now the aldehydes aren't giving it a fizz to my nose. Aldehydes would often cause a fizzy effect, but actually, I think they give this a clean and smooth feel. Not exactly soapy, just clean and very smooth. It does feel very rich, very expensive, and it projects really well considering it's an oil. Oils are not known to project well, but they do last long. Robin does really project quite nicely from my skin. It feels very expensive, but it is actually very expensive. It's 105 euros for the five mil oil, but you don't need to use a lot. Quite a pricey realm. I'm not entirely sure I would pay for it myself. I was um, very generously gifted it by the brand. It has a sweetness to it that I think the tube rose lends it almost a bubble gummy note without it going into full on sugary hubba bubba bubble gum. It's a little bit more like if you took a juicy fruit stick, you know those powdered sticks of chewing gum, but you changed the flavour of it and added the tuberose in there and, and lowered the actual fruitiness. It's kind of like that. It's got the powderiness that a juicy fruit chewing gum stick has, if that makes sense. That's all for now, I think. I'm going to um, get a little further along my walk. I found somewhere new. 
I've come up through the woods and I've taken a slightly different path and come out in this big field. And as the sun is shining and I'm, it's not too windy, I've taken my jacket off because I did get a little bit warm. So I've looked up the notes, I've looked up some more notes and there's a cassis, which I think is black currant. So it's obviously a, red, a rich red berry and black cherry, almond, mandarin, ylang ylang and I'm not sure if I said incense earlier and I still might have forgotten one or two things so let's just see but all together I wouldn't necessarily pick out too many of the notes at any point they all just meld together to create this fuzzy fuzzy furry blanket cashmere blanket kind of feel I don't necessarily get almond but there is a sweetness which is potentially coming from almond maybe coming from the tuberose and the vanilla it feels to me like a soft suede velvet cozy cashmere all the best materials in a blanket and it gives you a, a glow an aura like you are wearing an invisible soft silky blanket I don't pick out mandarin mandarin is obviously an orange type and it's a variation of an orange I find it a little more intense and perhaps a little bit sweeter I really I don't feel like I picked that out at all I definitely pick out the iris and I don't really pick out coconut which to me is a good thing because coconut has connotations to me of smelling cheap because I used to have a cheap leave-in hair conditioner and it was by Boots Naturals Collection, coconut scented and it absolutely made me reek of coconut which I enjoyed as a 12, 13 year old child and people would say to me, you smell of coconut, you, have you got sunscreen on, which I quite enjoyed. But the connotations of that is A, it was a cheap product and B, I was a child. So to me, coconut can have juvenile and cheap links in my scent memory. And I feel like a lot of people have that scent memory with coconut in particular because it is used in a lot of cheap products. It's also in a lot of sunscreens, sun lotions and oils and that's why to me it's a good thing that I'm not really picking out coconut and if it is uh, whatever it is that's used to, to create the coconut note is not that kind of cheap nasty coconut scent I say nasty it's not nasty but it's not that cheap common coconut scent whatever it is that's in there it's just blending in really nicely with everything else and resulting in a texture that is quite divine. There's something in here that balances out the sweet notes. This should be quite sweet based on the note listing, but it's not. It's got sweetness, but it's not too sweet. It's it's got something that tames the sweetness, holds the sweetness back. I feel like maybe the iris is helping to do that because iris generally is not that sweet a note. It's more usually earthy, powdery, sometimes green. In here, as I said earlier, it's buttery. 
doesn't really have the violet aspects that iris can often have it's just very very smooth the whole thing is so smooth it's mysterious and mystical and makes me think of fantasy princesses or queens or even white witches maybe that's the hint of incense in there but there's something really mystical and mysterious that i really enjoy and captures my imagination the fragrance feels despite feeling like a cozy soft blanket it still has a, a, a little bit of an aloofness about it an austere feel it's cool rather than warm not cold it's not ice cold but it's cool it's not necessarily inviting anyone in but more offering a mysterious comfort blanket to the wearer i think that it would be fairly approachable if anyone was wearing it i don't think anyone's going to find it offensive or unapproachable unlikable but it's not a mass appealing scent it's very much a niche fragrance it feels almost vintage maybe in the way that it has the musks musks and iris just lend it an old time feel without it feeling outdated or like a vintage fragrance it just seems to conjure up ancient times more than anything else so i really enjoy that I think that's all I'm really going to say because I'm going to get on with my walk. I need to burn off some calories. I had a hot cross bun today and an individual cheesecake, toffee flavour. I think I was feeling a bit low this morning and when that happens, I reach for the sugar. So I need to work all of that off. I feel much better now I've been out on my walk. I feel revived but uh, I need to carry on burning some of that sugar off, ready for me to then put more food in myself. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.